What's going on? It's your boy Sermon at Sermon's Domain on Twitter. Welcome to the newly revamped most anticipated album series. If you missed my update yesterday, I decided that I was going to take the series from being monthly to an album by album basis. So kicking off the newly revamped version is 21 Savage's debut album, Issa. The album is scheduled to drop on July 7th, and throughout this video I will be talking about the information that is known about the album from the singles to the people that are involved, and throwing in my thoughts here and there. The best place to begin is the album Origins. So the name of it comes from an interview that 21 did with Culture Vulture DJ Vlad. In it, the Culture Vulture asked him, what's up with the the tattoo between your eyebrows he said it was a cross and then 21 Savage infamously responded with it's a knife and so the word is a kind of blew up and it's been all over social media and 21 Savage wanted to continue to capitalize off of that it's smart marketing if you ask me thus far there's only been one official single release and that's titled all the smoke the video came out in June and I like the video. I like the song as well. The song is one that it doesn't blow me away upon a couple listens, but I think it has the potential to grow on me. The video itself is about a mass killer chasing down a bunch of teenagers in the woods, pretty much. So it kind of takes from like the horror movies, like the Friday the 13th series, and I thought it was cool. Unofficially, it's expected that there will be a song on the album titled Issa. We've heard this one. This is a song that features Young Thug and Drake. It was first previewed back in December. Young Thug was getting on uh, a private jet and he was, uh, you know, rapping 21's part. And we got a little bit of Thug's part and then boom. It was like a two minute preview and since then fans have been clamoring for this record. Unfortunately, it leaked sometime in May. But we don't have like the most pristine quality, so I'm hoping that it does still make the cut, which it seems more than likely it's the title track of the album, and that will get a much better quality version. Speaking of quality, the album is being mixed by Alex Tume. If you know anything about Alex, he is an engineer that has worked with Young Thug, Migos, Metro Boomin, uh, Drake, and many others. He also did 21 Savage and Metro Boomin Savage Mode last year. On Twitter a couple of days ago, he said that he wanted to make uh, Issa sound like an album that is different sonically from Savage Mode. The way he described it was that Savage Mode is a horror flick where Issa is more a mob flick set in the 80s. I always liked the way like Alex described things because he describes things really well. And I think it shows that he has a lot of passion for his work. He's not just getting in there and mixing and you know it's over with. No, he tries to make sure that he gets the best quality. And that's why he is probably one of the biggest current new engineers, especially in the social media era. He has almost 40,000 followers and people love hearing him talk about his work and talking on Twitter and so he's really been able to utilize social media in a good way. As of today, most of Issa is shrouded in mystery. Who will be featured on here? Who did the production? Will this top Savage Mode? All of these questions are going to remain unanswered until July 7th, until we actually hear what 21 Savage can do on his debut album, Issa. So those are just the facts and the information and my thoughts surrounding the upcoming debut album from 21 Savage, Issa. Now talk to me in the comment section below. Are you anticipating this album? Does this sound like something that you're going to enjoy? What are your hopes and dreams and what do you just want out of this project after you finish listening? Talk to me in the comment section below and then like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, share the video. Follow me on Twitter at Sermons Domain and as always, thank you for your time. I appreciate you for watching and until next time, peace.